Hey everybody, Ronaldman here, continuing my endless war. Yes, so last episode, uh, we uh, took a little chunk out of the Sathori so that we could get an Elgate system, and then um, the Geroids declared war on us because we were an ever-growing threat, probably. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm assuming that was it. Uh, so here we are, fighting them back. Uh, pushing them back. Uh, and while I do that, I ought to work on more Elgate progress. So the way to do that, uh, cheaply, I have two out of seven right now, is to contact the curators and just pay them to tell me about the Elgate. I have a lot of energy credits, so I can afford to do that. I have my newly minted fleet here. Let me see if there's a better admiral. Uh, I'll give this a second or two. Oh, there we go. A fire rate admiral. They're my favorite. Newly minted admiral, pushing them back at Pollux. And uh, let's see. The war goal I have here is just a subsidiary. Um, because they declared war on me. None of the claims that... Detected. Oh, we just switched places. That is funny. Let's warp on back. None of the claims that... Uh, oh, I'm actually at war with these guys too. Good to know. Uh, that my subsidiaries might have made have been rejected. Okay, they are fleeing from me. Let me set my fleet to uh, aggressive so they automatically engage. And let's try to chase these down. Engaged. They have a fleet of... Essentially just a bunch of little destroyers. My ships are not set up to smush destroyers, but I should still be able to do it anyway. I do have a fleet heading there. So the reason I say my fleet isn't really set up to smush destroyers is they, I have kinetic batteries and plasma accelerators, which are not the most ideal weapons for anti-destroyer. But alas, I have proven victorious with actually no... No fleet losses. Uh, one thing I realized I hadn't done in a little while is to check piracy. Uh, is my piracy being kept in check? Engaged. Yes. I have 48 protection and 43 piracy. So at the moment, I have no piracy, no functional piracy, which is great. One of the things I'm keeping an eye on is the amount of, or the lack of amount of alloys I am producing. I, it's really dismal. Uh, I'm looking for a planet that has... Uh, maybe I'll make one more foundry on my home planet. Upscaling complete. That ought to help. Next generation species updates deployed. I upgraded or updated my species. So if you look, I've added converse, uh, conservationalist, uh, which means I'll use less consumer goods. I'm going to delete this old template. I don't need it anymore. So obviously my species has come a long way. I've gone from, you know, having a bunch of negative traits to positive traits, which is good stuff. See if the, yep, the market for alloys is still inflated. Probably because um, worldwide I have a lot of enemies that are probably buying it to bolster their own fleets, which inflates the cost for me, unfortunately. Ooh, uh, Galactic Stock Exchange is something I can build um, on all my worlds. Probably already have one here. No, I don't have one here. Because I need more population here. Um, all of the worlds... Actually, I don't need one here. I don't have any uh, generator districts. But in order to make more energy, I might as well add the energy grids here as well. And then the mineral purification plants would be nice. I already have one here. That will increase the amount of resources I'm producing. Research actualized. 
Okay, I can now make crystals, which is great. Uh, research, it's pretty obvious. I want battleships. And here, uh, here I'll make some crystals. Which is... Alloy... Where are they? Synthetic crystal plants. Because at the moment, I have no crystal income uh, whatsoever. I've never had crystals, so... Tis about time to get those, I think. Well, that's Research a lot of actualized. little construction projects. I just researched gene clinics. Um, I think habitability would be great. Uh, not all my planets are 100% habitable. Dram and uh, Sabtrok are not. So they could use some work. Let's go back into factions here. So I am still suppressing this faction. And I am... Where is my influence going? I have a very small amount of influence I am producing. Incoming inquiry. Despite having rivalries and all that. My factions aren't really adding anything to my influence, which is strange. Maybe I can figure out why. Oh, because I'm currently promoting them. Alright, let's cancel the promotion. I think the xenophilic people will just be xenophilic. I'd rather have the influence at the moment. Now we are pushing their territory back. Uh, I think with this other fleet, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the allies. So if we look at the, oh, I'm actually war with three. So if we look at the war, I have three different enemies here, uh, which will make subjugation a little difficult um, because I have so many different targets to to beat down. Uh, so I think the right choice right now would be to add to my armies here so I can start invading at least two planets at once because I have two fleets. So we'll field another army. Another thing I did was I edited the save game file so that I have a victory date. Uh, it's at 3000. I might lower that in the future by some save game editing, but I didn't want to have it have an endless game with no victory condition. And I'll probably lower that victory condition. All right, so now that we're actually making uh, armies, I'm going to send my sh fleet to crush these two guys here. Uh, I might not be able to get to these guys. I might have to declare war on the <laughs> them just to get through. So, you know how I was saying endless war? Well, I meant it. So here is our new fleet destroying the uh, their outposts. And I now have some alloy uh, income, which is good. I was severely lacking on alloys for a while there. Supporting my current fleet. It was expensive. Now, fortunately, they are sending fleets after me. Oh, and this one is taking a pretty good chunk out of me, actually. I want to Incoming not retreat, inquiry. though. Ideally, stick it out as long as I can. Let's go ahead and start to replace these ships, uh, despite the immense expense. So... Uh, 
I have been defeated here. Uh, if you can see here, space battles, uh, they don't really, it doesn't actually affect me all that bad that I was defeated. Now, when you're defeated, uh, you don't lose all the ships. Some disengage and flee. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, so this, uh, they've defeated my, like, teeny fleet. But my big fleet is still at large and uh, moving about. My armies are getting recruited. I have now massively jacked up the price of alloys, which also, because I have a really strong economy, probably means that my, um, ooh, some terraforming, my rivals are also not able to field ships too. So I use the alloys that I just got to field a colony ship for Rathador. Uh, I plan on colonizing Rathador. I'm not sure if I'm going to colonize, um... Mona Dekir, or Kadir, or uh, Dorfil, because I wanted to go tall, and I'm already uh, a bit over my empire size that I should be I'm trying to manage it uh, responsibly. So here's some replacement ships for the fleet. Um, I can build logistics offices when I have the resources. All right, so here is Byham, or whatever it's Station called. Under assault. And we are conquering it easy peasy. Our she ships that were defeated will be back in a few months. Um, I'm not exactly... They're probably going to pop up at Vryn. But I'm going to send backup ships to Screeching Ab Abyss. Um, just so that the station there can be guarded. Uh, let's check out at Heavy Anchor. They have almost no armies. So we'll go ahead and land. Attempting to acquire planetary market. And they have a lot of... Um, a lot of systems to to conquer here. So I'm going to queue up a big old conquering queue. Planetary market secured. All right, that was basically every last penny to be able to build something. There we go. I'm just trying to pick what makes the most sense for each location. Competitors detected. They're dropping some debris behind. I did have... Okay, so now my armies that I wanted to field are done. We'll probably need a... Ooh. Stubborn. Yeah, let's get rid of you. There's one. Two. So, army damage and morale and army damage. Okay. Those are two good um, generals. Or at least decent generals. Let's field them. Now, I have... Uh, I'm going to actually... Take point uh, encourages your allies to join you. Research actualized. And I don't really care if they join me because I have such a giant, uh, a giant um, navy that I, I really don't need their help. So instead of um, instead of having them join that navy, I'm going to have them join this one. which is my defense navy and really soon in just a few days we're going to have the ships that were defeated come rendezvous with us let's do leader lifespan that seems wise uh their fleet finally engaged on us let's go crush them nice and quick and the backup fleet needs to repair. They're at Vryn Prime. 
Um, and they'll rendezvous with... Actually, let's have them rendezvous at Screeching Abyss now. They can repair at uh, the Screeching Abyss station. That shouldn't be much of an issue. Alright, their fleet has been thoroughly crushed. Upscaling complete. Uh, did lose one destroyer though. Let's go adjust that fleet. Looking at my scientists, no orders. Can I explore? No, I don't have the explore um, research yet. My colony ship that is going to populate Rathador is done. So we'll send that on its way. And then checking my planets uh, real quick. Let's see. I'm not. I'm generating a little bit of societal research at Sabtrock. And the same at Dorfil. So they could also use orbital, um, orbital scientists improving research, uh, which is not something I have. Dram has more research. So let's make two science ships and have scientists assisting that. We are, after all, a research-based empire. Research and trade. Let's go into leaders and hire two of these guys. A maniacal and let's see if I can get someone better. Uh, don't have enough energy credits for that. Well, that could change. Maniacal and a AI assistant scientist, and they will assist research at Dorfil and Saptrock, uh, respectively. Inquiry. Upscaling complete. Definitely at war with a lot of people. Okay, my fleet here, we'll call this the second. Oops. They are getting merged with in a second. Oh, the great... Who just Research closed their borders? Actualized. I don't even know. We researched uh, Dark Matter, which is awesome. Um, wormhole travel, because I have that scientist just sitting there. Might as well use that. And for the other research, I guess I can unlock this one. It goes fast. At this point, I really want genetic engineering research. So if I research really quick things in societal, I get offered I have increased chance to be offered the genetic research. Or at least that's the 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 sort of idea I had for that. All right, my two new scientists are going to get fielded. Let's send one to Sabtrock and assist research and send one to Dorfil and assist re research. And what this does is depending on the scientist level, it boosts the amount of research you get from jobs. So uh, at Vryn, for instance, we're boosting it by 14%, and at Dram, we're boosting it by 16%. I should probably inverse those researchers, um, have the higher skilled one at the at the uh, planet that generates the more research. So let me just fix that. I could switch the leaders, but. This works too. Alright, I just founded a new faction. What faction is this? This is the... Unity Party. Uh... Which I think is... Uh, hold on, where are they? Dram Prime. Let's figure out what they are. I think it's it's probably the 
I don't know what they are. Materialists, egalitarians, xeno quality, egalitarians. I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, it was someone in the workers, I guess. All right, Vryn Unity Party. So they are xenophobes. Um, let's. I kind of figured that. We'll name them xenophobes and xeno. Files. Uh, I'm going to suppress the xenophobe faction, even though I'm satisfying them. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to become xenophobic uh, as a traitor that kind of works against my my whole goals. So we'll get rid of that. We are repairing the primary fleet. The secondary fleet will be repaired soon too. I don't want to lose more ships than I need to here on the primary fleet, so I uh, need to give them some repairs at a, a spaceport from time to time. Now I'm going to queue up a bunch of um, territory, acquisi territory acquisition orders. I find it easier rather than to send the ship to the system to just queue up to attack the outpost that's at that system. And that ought to do. To a big old land grab. Checking the ascension perks. I still don't have evolutionary mastery offered, which is what I'm really working towards more than the other ones. Incoming inquiry. So we're getting a little bit of land grab going on. It's pushing my war goals forward. Now that my ships have rendezvoused and repaired, I can also push back Pollux. Uh, we're repaired 98%, that's close enough. Now there's probably something awful behind this wormhole. So this scientist is likely gonna die, but he's a pretty low level scientist. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. And that was indication that I am starting to um, colonize Rathador, which is awesome. Usually, they'll have a planet um, in a RAS that you can colonize, but I guess they don't this time around. That's a bummer. Those planets are usually pretty dope with a, a lot of really good bon be benefits and bonuses. I'm going to switch my attack up around because they have a fleet that will recap stuff. I don't really have any interest in having to recap. Oh, I also researched Dark Matter, so let's go ahead and get it. Build a station over my node. Dark Matter is um, a rare resource that's used mostly to build ships. I say mostly because it's not Upscaling. purely to build ships, but mostly. And I'll show you that when that becomes relevant. Um, the prick, prick, uh, K. Okay. I just had some refugees show up because some enemy just, just got defeated. Uh, I don't want their people here. So let's uh, get rid of them. Set them to undesirable. Purge type displacement, because that's the only purge type I'm allowed. If you were like xenophobic, you could just murder them or turn them into food. But I don't I don't have Incoming transmission. the ability to do that. Research actualized. Still hoping for the gene research to be offered. Really hasn't been yet. I'm gonna research the, maybe hull tissue. I think it's about time I got that. That's a pretty good research Competitors detected. to automatically repair ships. Let's 
So they have two fleets at Pollux, but I'm bigger than both of theirs combined. So no problems there. Upscaling complete. So now I will be raking in um, Competitors detected. dark matter. I think I'm still working. Yeah, I'm still working on the synthetic crystal plants. So that's been a while. This ship here uh, now doesn't have a purpose. It's I'm grabbed every everything I need to grab. So I'll send him home. Here's this li little naval battle. It's already over. And they had some. Ooh. That is good to know. Um, oh, sometimes that happens when it's trying to pan camera. So they defeated some ancient threat. I didn't think they were capable of, so it was probably not a particularly strong ancient threat. Competitors detected. But it said they did it at Kuma. Um, I'll figure out what that is later. It wasn't this guy or this. Those are just space amoebas. Yeah, well, I'll have to figure that out. I'm intrigued as to what uh, ancient threat they, they actually took care of. I'm still researching the wormhole travel. That's coming along nicely. Some of my campaigns just ended. Let's put research and all these energy campaigns back. Uh, and I'm going to use some of my exotic gas as fuel so we can move around a little faster. Uh, I have a bunch of ships jumping around and I think it would definitely speed up uh, the process being able to, to move around nicely. So now we have a big army that can follow our new navy. So now we have two armies of almost equal size. Navies aren't equal, but I don't really have the uh, alloys to to equalize them. So I am now making rare crystals and dark matter, which is very good. And this war, I am doing pretty good on war score. I think if I focus their planets, if I focus invading planets here, uh, this war will be over sooner. Especially if I invade capitals. Everyone everyone wants to keep their capital, so if you take their capitals over, you, uh, you push your war goals further faster. Let's just speed this up. So once we defeat this fleet, it was a hard battle. Hard fought, hard won. But now we have, um, we can repair on there the station that we just captured. Uh, I do have a bunch of debris out here that I could research. Um, I guess I'll send the Sabtrock researcher. Just because he's closest. Even though I have Frary idle. They are now 100% war exhausted, so they're going to be encouraged to give up. So I hope to push my war goals. Oh, they have a sizable army defending this one. Normally, uh, most of the people I've faced have not had armies, so that's different. Um, I'm going to increase my research station output, and now at Frary, we can... Sent the fleet stance to evasive so that they flee, and let's explore this natural wormhole. This natural wormhole leads Evading competitive fleet. to a psionic entity. That's uh, honestly no surprise. I kind of expected that. I'm going to send this guy over to Sabtrock to uh, assist research now. I don't have the navy to take on a psionic entity just yet. Soon, but not just yet. And we'll continue our campaign of pummeling enemies Incoming inquiry. as hard as we can. 
So they have a bigger army than I do, so this is not a place to invade. Actually, you know what? I might skip this in lieu of finding easier invadable targets. As much as I'd like their capital, um, I don't want to tie up my navy pummeling one planet for, for very long. It's just not all that productive. Uh, I do now have the option to um, upgrade a bunch of my buildings, like my civilian industries, which will produce consumer goods. And I'm going to do one of them. And their upkeep is one crystal a day. Uh, and I have, I'm netting eight crystals. So I can also... Uh, civilian industries. Let's see, what else can I do? I can increase trade value, but I don't need to do that just yet. I have plenty of amenities on my planets. Giving me a lot of stability. I could do that here, though. Uh, well, I have a lot of stability here as well. Looking at stability, it's uh, it's this indicator here. Um, higher stability means more productivity out of the population. So I'm going to do a commerce megaplex at Sabtrak. Helping out with the stability. All right, hopefully Costa Mog. Oh, they have a little bit of a an army guarding it. I can pummel them a little bit. Let's see. At this new planet, Still Haven, they have almost nothing. So let's go and invade and send my fleet to go repair. Commencing seizure of planetary asset. Thirty-eight. We're getting pretty close. Research actualized. Got the regenerative hull tissue. Awesome. Um, more food from farmers would be pretty good. I wouldn't mind a uh, food surplus. Planetary market but alas, secured. I am just about out of time. So yeah, I'm doing a multi-war. And I'm trying to go as fast as I can while explaining what I'm doing. But uh, I know it's a lot. So if you have any questions about what I'm doing... Just drop me a line and I'm uh, happy to answer you as, as thoroughly as I, I can. And if you have any suggestions or feedback of any kind, just let me know. And I'll be wrapping up this war soon. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all later. Adios.